Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about golden circles, later in this video we will create this turtle golden ratio logo using that golden circles. If you're new here make sure to press that subscribe button. Let's get into our tutorial. Let's make a perfect golden ratio rectangle first. To do that, grab the rectangle tool and make a perfect square. We only need stroke for this. So get rid of this fill color and make the stroke white. Now go to the stroke points and make that 5 points. Now select this square, go to the edit, then press on copy. Now go to edit once again, press paste in place. Now select one of the rectangles, go to transform section. Make sure this chain is unchecked, then multiply width by 1.618. Now select these two rectangles, left click again on this bigger rectangle while holding ALT key, then go to the align panel, click on horizontal align left. Now grab the rectangle tool and draw a perfect square, starting right upper anchor point of this other square. Now repeat this method. Now let's make our golden ratio circles using this golden ratio rectangle. Grab the ellipse tool, bring your cursor to the center of this square, hold alt and shift keys then drag away to make a perfect circle. Let's do another one. Bring your cursor to center of this square, hold alt and shift keys, drag away. Now repeat this method until you get all the golden circles. Now we have created the golden ratio rectangle. Let's take out our golden ratio circles. I'm going to tell you how to create this golden circles without the rectangle for sake of learning. Get a copy of this bigger circle. To do that hold alt key and drag on the outline. Now select this circle. Go to edit, press on copy, now go to edit again and press paste in place. Now go to transform section. Make sure this chain check this time around, then divide width by 1.618. Now we have our second circle. Let's do another one. Select the circle, go to edit, press on copy, go to edit again, Press paste in place. Now go to transform section, divide width by 1.618. Repeat this method until you have all the golden ratio circles. Now we have the same circles that we made from the rectangle. OK. Let's make a logo using this golden ratio circles. I have this sketch that I made. If you want this sketch link is in the description. You can download this logo template as well. If you draw another sketch, make sure to draw it geometric as possible. Now we have this sketch and already made golden ratio circles. Now place the circles on the sketch. Always hold ALT key when you get a circle from the golden circles. I'm going to make every single part alone in this logo so you don't get any confusion. 
Now select all the circles and go to Shape Builder tool. Left click on the math that we want and get rid of path we don't need. To do that click on the path while holding the Alt key. To combine, drag across the two paths. Now we have created this outline path using golden ratio. Now drag and place this smaller circle on this line. I'm going to use three different circles for these parts. Now select the paths and go to Shape Builder tool. Hold Alt key and click on the path to get rid of it. Now we have created this highlight lines of our logo. Ok. Now I'm going to make this part. Drag this circle and place it right here. Close that path with this bigger circle. Now go to Shape Builder tool, select all the paths while holding the control key and click on the path that we want. You can get rid of other paths by this way as well. Go to the selection tool click on the path you don't want, press delete on your keyboard. Let's make remaining paths of our logo. Go to Shape Builder tool, left click on the path that we want, delete the rest using Selection tool. Repeat this method to other path as well. Now we have created our logo using golden ratio circles. Now we don't need the circles. Let me delete this. Now go to your layer palette, click on this little eye icon on our sketch, because we don't want that anymore. Let's add some colors to our logo. I want to combine these paths, so select both paths, Go to Pathfinder tool, press on Unite command. Delete this front path. I have this already made gradient swatches. You can download the swatches from the link in the description as well. Select this path and add this gradient using eyedropper tool. You can adjust the gradient angle by using gradient tool. Now select this second part, add this gradient, and adjust the angle of that one as well. Add the first gradient to this last path. For this part I want to add a different one. That's why I created this more darker blue gradient. You can adjust blending point by dragging this little icon on this gradient line. Repeat this method and add gradients to all the paths. Now this is our final golden ratio logo design. 
If you guys like the video make sure to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials, and don't forget to leave a like behind. See you guys in my next tutorial.